Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now is a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we are getting to the bottom of that age old question in skincare. Do you need a toner in your routine? You know this is a serious topic because I've got my glasses on, I've got plenty of notes, and I can't read a thing without them. So I'll pop my glasses on to give a serious feel to this video. But actually, in all, all truthfulness, it came about because I watched a video um, on James Welsh's channel, which I'll leave a link to um, that video in the description box below. So check that out if you want his perspective on this. But where we looked at, he was promoting the idea that you need a toner in your skincare routine, that no routine is complete without a toning step in it. That conflicts with what some other skincare influencers, Hiram, for example, who says, actually, they're a nice to have. There's no harm to having a toner in your routine, but it's not essential. So we're going to unpick it. We're going to unpack it and work out whether you do actually once and for all answer that question do you need a toner in your skincare routine and if you do decide to add one into your routine I've got some fantastic options that I've broken down and um, by skin type all of them drugstore and affordable broken them down by skin type so you know the ones that you could reach for if you do want to include a toner in your life now, a lot of us, when we think toner, we think back to our teens, when we used to like drench the cotton ball in this liquid, we used to wipe it over our skin until it was drenched and slathered, and then the stinging and the burning would commence. It was enough to just put you off using them forever, and so we kind of never really committed hard and fast to toners. Well, gone are those days. The 90s have left the building. That stinging, astringent, alcohol-filled toners have gone out of our lives, and today they're formulated so, so much better. And toners can actually add some real depth to your skincare routine, add some active ingredients, some nice humectants and hydrators in there. And so they're not the same as the ones we remember from our youth, which let's be honest, probably did more harm than good. Scientifically speaking, um, toner just refers to a easily absorbed liquid that acts as a vehicle for an in another ingredient, hopefully an active ingredient if you actually want some benefit from it. But it doesn't have, we need to dispel this myth that people say toners, the purpose of toners is to remove any remaining dirt, debris, SPF from the skin. It's not. Your cleanser should be doing that. If you've got a full cleansing routine and using a good cleanser, it should remove all of that. So it's not to clean the skin. Some people say the purpose of it is to rebalance the skin's pH. Again, that's a bit of a myth. While some of them do do that, um, not all toners will rebalance the skin's pH to what it should be around the 5 or 5.5 on the pH scale. So just because you're picking up a toner, don't assume that it's going to rebalance the pH of the skin because that is a little bit of a myth and not all of them do. What ultimately it is, is a different texture and a different textural way of getting ingredients into your skincare routine. And so we're going to talk now about whether you actually need one in your life. Well, when it comes down to it, if we're going to be honest, I think Hiram's right on this one. You don't actually need a toner in your life. You can get all the ingredients that might be in a toner in another step in your routine, either through a cream, a cleanser, or a serum. A toner is a nice to have. It's something you can include in your routine if you like the texture and the consistency. All I would say is make sure that you're using a toner with a purpose. There is no point whatsoever in including a toner which is just benign, doesn't really do anything for the skin. You're wasting your money and you're just adding an extra a complicated step into your routine. You don't need it in your life. Some toners as well can actually do more harm than good. There are still those bad ones out there. So you need to be careful about the ingredients that are in that toner and make sure that you're using the right one for your skin type. However, if you do want to include a toner, there are some fantastic, fantastic ones out there that can deliver those active ingredients that you want your skin to benefit from in a nice liquid water-like texture, which is really pleasant to use. And actually some of them can add some really nice benefits to the skin. So I'm going to on to what my absolute favorites are. But when people say you need a toner in your life, that's just not the case. What you actually need in your life is a cleanser to clean the skin. You definitely need an SPF to protect the skin. And then I'd say on top of that, one treatment serum to target your main skin complaint. So you're getting some benefit from the routine. I actually did a whole video on three step skincare routine. Can it be done? Absolutely. I'll leave a link to it up there. So check that out if you want to know how to perfect a routine which is simplistic and only three steps in length. Check that video out and you've got all the details you need in that. Now, coming on to what we're really here for, which is my favorite drugstore toners. 
I'm going to break this down by skin type because it's super important that you match your skin type to your toner of choice. If you get it wrong, you can actually risk doing some damage, some drying to the skin. So listen carefully because it's really important to match the right toner to your skin type. First off, I'm going to start with those with dry skin. I think of all the skin types, dry skin people are the ones that probably will benefit most from a toner. That's because the toner can prepare your skin to receive moisture, which hopefully you're adding in the following steps in your skincare routine. If you think of it as like a sponge, if you have a really dry sponge and you put some moisturizer on it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't sink in. It just sits as a layer on the top and doesn't really do much. If the sponge is wet, damp and ready to receive that moisture, you put it on, it sinks in, it actually does what it needs to do. So if you're putting a moisturizer on absolutely parched, dry skin, it's actually not going to do as much as if you're putting it on nourished, moisturized and ready to receive hydrated skin. So a toner can be a really great way, if you use the right one, of getting your skin ready for that hydration. My, the sort of ingredients that I would look out for are ceramides, which are absolutely fantastic, amino acids, which are going to hydrate and nourish the skin, but also support with collagen production, which is great. You can add some things like ferments in there. So you often see soya bean, um, bean ferments in some products. They're really great because they're going to be quite hydrating and they're going to sink into the skin and hydrate from within, which is fantastic. My absolute favorite and the one I always recommend to my friends who have dry skin is the Dr. Jart Cream Mist. This is £13 here in the UK, $15 in the US. I love Dr. Jart because they're cruelty free. They're a Korean skincare brand. You have to be a bit careful because some of them can be um, formulated with alcohols, which is what a lot of Korean skincare is. But this one isn't. It's a beautiful, beautiful mix of five ceramides. Ceramides nourish the skin. They support the barrier function of the skin. So they're great if you have quite sore skin or maybe it's been chapping a little bit. Ceramides can be absolutely fantastic. This will drench the skin with just two spritz, drench the skin and just make it perfectly prepped, ready to receive the next steps in your skincare routine and boost that hydration level. I love it. The only thing I would caution is it does have fragrance in it. I don't think that's a problem for most people. You know, we often assume that just because you have dry skin, you also have sensitive skin. That's not the case. You can have quite robust skin, but also dry at the same time. This isn't someone who has sensitive skin. I wouldn't recommend this because of the addition of that fragrance. But for someone who doesn't have sensitive skin but is suffering from dehydrated and dry skin, this is a perfect go-to toner and I absolutely adore it. Now, if you have sensitive skin, I mentioned that that product wasn't great if you have sensitive skin because of the addition of that fragrance. But if you have sensitive skin, a toner can also be a fantastic step in your routine. But you have to be super careful with the ingredients. So you don't want anything alcohol-based. You don't don't want the botanicals to be in any way sensitizing so I would you know miss out essential oils lavender oils if you see them in there citrus oils those things are just not great ingredients to have if you have sensitive skin however a toner can be a really great step in your skincare routine the things I would look out for was anything with oat I mean you know me I am absolutely adore oat from the oat cleansing bar by the Inculus through to the face theory serum that has colloidal oatmeal in just oat is fantastic at calming and soothing the skin It'll reduce redness and inflammation just amazing panthenol is a b vitamin which will calm and soothe the skin again taking down any inflammation which is absolutely fantastic licorice root is a fantastic fantastic natural ingredient to reduce inflammation as well and if you can see anything with but calming botanicals in again fantastic things like cucumber aloe all amazing those are things which are really going to help sensitive skin to just recover a bit from the cleansing that you might have done which can be a little bit tough on the skin you know cleansing can be a rough step in your skincare routine particularly if you have sensitive skin my go-to reach for it's from a brand i do mention a lot because i just love them and that is face theory and their colloidal c anti-redness toner i'll leave an image of it there and i'll leave a link to a video i did on all of face theory's products because i just i love them they're affordable this one's 14 pounds they're vegan they're cruelty free they offer fragranced and unfragranced versions of most of their products just a great skincare line so i'll leave a link to a video up there i did on them this has everything you need in it if you have sensitive skin aloe vera fantastic at calming and soothing it's got oat in there which we just said is like a holy grail if you have dry irritated inflamed skin absolutely fantastic it's got that licorice extract which is gorgeous and just all over it's gonna add so much calmness and soothing to your skin it's fantastic also has a stabilized vitamin c in a low concentration which is going to be a bit of brightness to the skin so if you have sensitive skin and you've stayed away from using a vitamin c but you feel like you're missing out because you're not getting 
that um, glow and a luminosity that adding a vitamin C into your routine can bring. This is a great way of doing it in a non-irritating way. Won't irritate the skin because you've got all those soothing ingredients alongside it, but will give over time a nice brightness and a luminosity to the skin. I love, love, love this product. Now, finally, coming on to oily skin. What happens if you have oily skin? Now, actually, you can be a little less selective when you come to oily skin because if you have alcohols in toners, it's not as big an issue if you've got oily skin because it will just help to get rid of some of that excess oils. Um, you should look for something with a exfoliating acid would be my recommendation. Something like a salicylic or a glycolic acid, which is going to help eradicate any clogs that you have in the pores, but also remove some of that excess oil. I would go for something super cheap. There is no need to spend loads of money because you don't need lots of active ingredients. You just need a really good exfoliation. I would reach for something like the um, Ordinary 7% Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. Seven pounds here in the UK, $10 in the US for about two months worth of product. Absolutely fantastic. Great strength to use every single day and we'll just mop up that excess oil, but it'll also do a really good exfoliation to make sure your um, pores aren't too clogged. And um, if you want a salicylic acid option, the Inculist salicylic acid toner is fantastic. Again, that's a BHA toner, which will just go into the pores and remove some of that dirt and the debris. Also, it's attracted to oil, so it'll bind to the oil and remove it from the skin. Both fantastic options, but I don't think you need to pay too much. I don't think you need too many ingredients in your toner if you're suffering with someone like me that has oily, breakout prone skin. Either of those would work fantastically for you and just mop up that excess oil that your cleanser hasn't removed fully, making sure that your mat throughout the day and the rest of your steps in your skincare routine apply beautifully onto freshly exfoliated skin. Now, that's my like three. Now, if you have like combination skin, work out which one of these would fit best for your skin type. So if you're combination with a bit of sensitivity, go for the face theory. If you're combination, but you are prone to um, breakouts, then I would go for the glycolic acid or the salicylic acid. Work out, you can be a bit more um, flexible with which one you go for. If you're dry skin, then obviously you go for the first option and work out what your skin needs. However, there is one recommendation I want to make that is suitable for all skin types. Just a beautiful toner that gets so little recognition for how amazing it is. I don't hear anyone talking about this and I want to change that because actually it is a beautiful product. It's by a brand called Indie Lee cruelty free which I absolutely love and a really like up and coming brand which a lot of people are starting to talk about the brand but not this specific product and that is the Indie Lee Coenzyme Q10 toner. I got the small bottle of this um, which actually is great it's 10 pounds for the small bottle but a little goes a long way because you just need one spritz and actually having that smaller bottle means you can try it before you commit to a full size. This is a powerful powerful antioxidant my favorite antioxidant Q10 gorgeous in a hydrating mist very few ingredients so there's not a lot that your skin can can, can interact negatively with your skin. It's full of my favorite antioxidant with some calming ingredients such as aloe and cucumber as well. It's calming, it's soothing. You can leave it in the fridge, just give that extra hit of coolness and reduce any puffiness you might have in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful product. I recommend that for everybody because it's suitable for all skin types. And it's just, if you want an easy go-to toner, pick up the sample size, the small size of this. It'll last you about a month for £10, so it's super affordable and your skin will love you. There you are, guys. You have it, my favourite toners. And answering the question, do you need a toner in your life? In conclusion, you do not. However, don't tell me that you're not tempted by some of those recommendations. I'm one of these people that's never religiously reached for a toner because... I've never found one that really works for my skin type that made me think, oh my God, holy grail, I need that in my life. But the face theory one, super, super, even though I don't have sensitive skin, I just love it if I do um, like a really robust exfoliation such as the peeling solution by The Ordinary. To apply this afterwards just calms and soothes the skin. Really nice. And that Indie Lee is a fantastic way of getting an antioxidant into your routine as well as a toner without having to have a separate antioxidant step. Gorgeous product. So those are the two that I'm going to most at the moment. Leave me a comment below. What is your favourite toner? What, what would be your go-to Holy Grail toner that you want to recommend to everybody? Leave me a comment below. And wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.